What's up guys, Sal here. So Xiaomi is expected to launch its next generation flagship Mi 8 next week. And a steady stream of leaks over the past few weeks have revealed almost everything about the device. So let's talk about a device which is gonna be one of the most feature packed Android devices out there. A new video surfaced recently which allegedly shows the device as having a semi-transparent back which showcases some of the internals. You can see that the phone does not have a fingerprint scanner on that wonderfully translucent back glass. The front doesn't seem to have enough space for it either. This falls in line with the expected in-display fingerprint scanner that might come on this device. Another interesting thing aside from the clear black is the notch up front. Yes, the Xiaomi Mi 8 will allegedly have an iPhone 10 style notch that is a wider one than most other Android phones that have adopted the notch that may actually house the cameras and sensors needed for true 3D face recognition. Yes, Mi 8 will be the first mainstream Android device to offer 3D facial scanning which was of course introduced by Apple in the iPhone 10. Mi 8 will also have an in-display fingerprint scanner. As you can see, a very short video of the scanner working live has been leaked as well. Which means that Mi 8 will be one of the very first devices globally to offer the new functionality that can currently be found on Vivo devices. Xiaomi came out with a new poster and as you can see, it has an enormous number 7. The Chinese text written underneath roughly translates to, and I quote, Why is it called Mi 8? Because it's completely beyond expectations. Apparently, the new smartphone brings such a significant upgrade over the Mi 6 that Xiaomi decided to skip a generation. Yes, I'm aware that the statement doesn't really make much sense and it's likely that the company wanted to give some response to the overwhelming backlash it might have received due to the decision. In fact, let's just stick with the 8th year anniversary explanation as that sounds much more sensible. Anyway, the device will be launched on May 31st and I'll cover each and everything about the device so make sure to hit that subscribe button and as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out. Okay.